great human transformation. The A, B, C, D, E to T of technology. <laughs> Mothers know the best. It's my place to connect with the supernatural and the divine. Believe it or not. The kind. The wrong. Yes, there is still black and white in this world. The truth. Turn on. A challenge. Also applause. When someone is just too clever. Soldier. All is not fair in love and war. We must always try and remember that. It's uh, better to die on your feet than to live on your knees. Dekho, maine dekha hai ek sapna. To change the world. A few, not too many. She is not dead yet. This is the wrong question to the wrong person about the wrong thing. I am a homebody. I like to be at home all the time. <laughs> oh gosh, I sound uh, so wrong right now. Uh, so when live events begin in uh, huge numbers, I will definitely want to again be in the midst of it all. But right now, all I can say is that I'm um, I'm, I'm happy doing my virtual events, going in there into the studio for a few hours, doing that hybrid shoot. I'm happy writing, I'm happy reading, I'm happy watching uh, movies at home, taking care of my plants, taking care of the house, spending time with my kid, with my family. Predictions for the year 2020 are very kind. <laughs> every prediction everybody has made everywhere has it's been proven inconsequential by the COVID-19 virus, yes. Uh, no, I'm not going to make predictions about 2020, but um, I am going to say this much that uh, live events, especially, will rise in numbers flicker by flicker till the end of 2020. You will not see a sporadic rise. So um, for the rest of the year ahead, we just have a few more months left. I'd uh, urge all DMCs out there, like hosts out there, to keep their eyes open, their ears open, and, and keep their options open. Uh, whatever comes your way, use up shiddat se nibhaye, and uh, be a, a team player with the agencies out there. But at the same time, keep uh, upgrading your skill, keep uh, increasing your knowledge, and keep yourself well worst with what's happening in the world in major industry sectors so when you actually come to that point of time in june 2021 you're able to take the correct call with regards your career whether you want to continue being a live host or you want to move on to do something else uh, i don't feel june 2021 will be that point in time when many 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 will be forced to answer this very um, difficult question Then again, I'm saying this, that how does one predict what 2021 holds uh, for us? We're all thinking that, okay, the vaccine will come. Uh, as a result, the economy will pick up. Things will get better. I don't think we can predict any of that. Uh, one day at a time, do your best. Play safe. Prudence, goodness, kindness, stay together. 2021 may uh, turn out to be the best year ever or 2021 may turn out to be um, the future in making either ways we'll have to live through it we'll, we'll have to live through it
It's new. It's like a breath of fresh air. It's refreshing. I'm a performer. You give me a screen and tell me that I have to uh, emote and react and uh, sort of uh, drive energy uh, into an audience I can't even see and elicit a response that also I can't see. I'm okay with that. I mean, it's right up my alley as a performer. So, um, it is, it's nice. It's for a change. One is sort of, uh, you know, you're, you're at home or you're in an office or you're in a studio, uh, you know, doing the talk. Uh, it's new. So anything new uh, for, for the initial period is always uh, exciting. Yes, there are some teething issues there uh, with regards working conditions, but I'm sure we're a reasonable lot. We'll, we'll sort them out over the next few months. And... Um, uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. I like it. I like it. The podcast is celebrating 150 years of existence and it has served as a port of trust to not just the people of West Bengal but also to the people of India. A nation's leader is also akin to a port of trust. He is a leader who stands as a patron to our trust and is also a harbinger of our hopes and aspirations of the new India. हमारे नेता का बस एक ही सपना है कि भारत का हर नागरिक संपन्न हो सुरक्षित हो और खुशहाल हो राष्ट्र निर्माण में उनका जीवन उद्देश्य है अब मैं भारत के माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी से निवेदन करूंगी कि वे इस सभा को प्लीज संबोधित करें Seeing visibly life. Oh. I'm, I almost said this and I, I'm saying it again. Uh, life's the real thing because that, there you are. You're up there and your audience is right there in front of you. you you're seen. You, they, they get what you do. Uh, but uh, virtual? Mm, virtual and hybrid. There are takes and retakes. You're behind the screen. Your flaws are blurred out. So, uh, definitely the level of skill that you require for a virtual event or uh, for a hybrid event shoot ain't as much as you require for a live physical event. So, yeah, I think these are, these are comfort shows for skilled anchors out there. But um, live requires uh, much more skill, much more, uh, much more performance, much more concentration much more focus, all of it, all of it. Do awards matter? How do I know? The business out there, the industry out there, the clients out there, they would know. But I know one thing for sure, that I've always lived in the real world. I've always tried to be grounded. I've always tried to be humble. I've always tried to keep it simple. And for me, there will never be a point in my career where I'll feel that, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm much too big for this. Oh, I'm much too successful for this. No, no. I'm just like any other professional out there, going out there, doing the best I can, trying to do the best projects. And I very happily receive any recognition that comes my way. It's a happy thing. It's a heart thing. It's not an ego thing. <laughs> You know, that, that whole ego massage that happens in the first few awards. But when you've received and you've been blessed to sort of take home more than many, then it's not an ego massage. It's a very humbling experience. Uh, every single award tells me that my responsibility has increased just a little bit more with this one. And that when I step out there the next time, I have to do a little bit better than I did the last time. So... Um, yeah, awards uh, may not matter in real terms to the volumes of business that I receive or to the kind of business that I receive, but they matter because they keep me grounded and they make me feel like um, I'm just another professional out there who goes out there, does my job, gets the applause, moves on and does another job. It's as simple as that for me. Is, uh, it's, it's the reality of life. It's, uh, it must have a role. That's why it exists. Uh, 
the most sensible way to sort of look at competition would be to help uh, help it, uh, uh, you know, push you harder to do do better and better and sort of excel. Uh, healthy competition is, is extremely important because if you put yourself in a mind space where uh, you're competing um, in all the wrong ways, uh, then you're just making yourself an extremely unhappy person. And then what's life worth if you're not a happy person? You may go out there and achieve all the success that you want. But if you haven't done it uh, uh, via a journey that's been a happy one then and a, and a good one and a fair one, then what, what's the point? Um, I look at competition as, as, a, as the welcome spice of uh, life. It keeps you on, its, uh, on your toes. Uh, it keeps you uh, uh, driven to do better. And um, there is a point where you have to just uh, let it go. <laughs> let it go. And uh, then whatever comes your way is your destiny and whatever doesn't is was not your destiny. So one has to be um, happy in what uh, you get or uh, what you achieve. And um, yeah. Hit it. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay now. From the beginning. Hit it, boy. Ab to haat chhod do mera. Isne kis sundar nahi main. जैसे बाहर वाला होता है ना वो ग्राहक देख कर भी पूरा हुआ है दैट आई हर्ड अबाउट यू एंड यू वाचिंग इट सो मच आई फील वेरी वेरी हैप्पी टू गेट बैक इन टच एंड टू हैव स्पोकन विद यू ओवर हियर लव और लस्ट इट्स अ ऑब्वियस आंसर आई मीन जस्ट यू आर मी सेइंग लस्ट ओवर हियर आई डोंट बिलीव यू आस्क मी दैट बट इट्स गुड आई यू आई यू कभी 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 पूछा मेरे पता नहीं किस किस कोने में घुस गए मेरे टमाटर But ये फिल्म भी नहीं था। I really enjoy talking to you, Gitika. I love romance. You are a romantic. Oh, we've been having a good time. We've done uh, MC scripts. We've done. Uh, professional profiles we've done personal profiles we've done website content we've uh, uh, managed to do a concept uh, for a light and sound show and then kind of do the narration we've done uh, corporate film narrations uh, we've done a small little ebook we've done songs we've done uh, uh, slogans we've done social media content and a few things more there so <laughs> yeah it, it, it's it's been a good start yeah This is like asking an answer that how important is Abhinaya in uh, Bharatanatyam or what, how important is it in Kathak or Kuchipudi? Content is it? Content is queen. Content is queen. <laughs> See, there is a bit of a grey area nowadays out there. Uh, many new MCs uh, sort of saying this to to experiential agencies that writing content is not a part of our job. Fair enough. It's it's what it's their conversation with the agency that will get sorted out. I have personally always enjoyed writing uh, content, and I do feel that if uh, an MC out there who's very talented in uh, in expressing in delivery on stage and is not a good writer, it's not a bad idea to provide them with the peg of a writer. Mm, but having said that, it's it's extremely important what content is being delivered on stage because end of the day, you may be looking at the person, you may be listening to the person, but primarily you're listening to what that appropriately dressed looking person with a great voice is saying to you so what is that person saying to you that is the mainstay of any actor's job and i think uh, uh, we have been at ministry of talk we've been writing many scripts for other anchors out there over the last few months and we're enjoying it we look at the personality of the anchor we look at what the show is about we try and blend both and we try and sort of uh, create a draft script that works for both the anchor's personality and also for what the client uh, wants in terms of messaging from that particular show so yes uh, content is king content is queen <laughs> it's the age of content it's the age of content absolutely to me to talk at length about green events or sustainable events Uh, just give me a give me a few more uh, months there to st- study uh, even more deeply the subject. 
but yes i think we have a golden opportunity on our hands there is a break right now uh we do have time on our hands and we do have that that golden opportunity to restructure a lot of things uh, within the live industry and to do away with many wrongs and to implement many rights so i think this would just be the the perfect time the perfect opportunity the perfect playing ground for us to go out there and talk to each other about green events about how events can be sustainable events and i hope that in the months ahead we as an industry have those conversations and i'm i'd be very happy to sort of initiate them at all the wrong places <laughs> at all the wrong times the parting shots for this interview okay i'll tell you what i tell myself be good try try and be good be kind be fair do your best and keep walking theater is life and life is theater the oldest of performing arts in human civilization ladies and gentlemen feel the awe as we at the meta celebrate the champions the torch bearers the evangelists and the flag bearers of the movement of theater in india through the good times and the bad through the turmoil and the hardship through the celebration and the anguish